Hello everyone, this is Lillian and it's time for our three minutes with the word audio devotional. Today's topic is speedy answers and our anchor scripture is taken from the book of Matthew chapter 26 and verse 39. He went a little farther and fell on his face and prayed saying, Oh my father, if it is possible, let this cup pass from me. Nevertheless, not as I will, but as you will. Today, Before I get into our short reflection, I have a very important announcement to make. It is my utmost pleasure to announce to you that the Three Minutes with the Word audio devotional is 10 years old. Is God not just so faithful? Please allow me use this opportunity to invite you for a virtual gathering of praise, thanksgiving, testimonies and gains on August 10th, 2024 from 4 p.m. to 5.30 p.m. GMT. To join on the day, please scan the QR code on your screen or click the Zoom link on any of our social media platforms. Please join us to say thank you to the Almighty God for His faithfulness and for His grace. Like I said, there will be games and there will be lots of prizes to be won, so please don't miss it. If the three-minute audio devotional has ever been a blessing to you, then come and celebrate with us. Invite as many people as you can. So, all through this week, we've been looking at different characters from the Bible and how and why they prayed. The last day we looked at Jesus and like I said, there is so much to learn from the prayer life of Jesus. Because we do not have a lot of time today, allow me tell you the secret to answered prayers. If you want guaranteed answers to your prayers 100% of the time, what I am about to tell you is the key that you need. Jesus knew this secret, hence the outstanding successes he enjoyed in life and ministry. In our anchor scripture, like we spoke about the last day, Jesus had been pushed into prayer by the agony and the grief he felt. He was about to die and was feeling the weight of the spiritual separation that he would have with God, but also just the emotional turmoil he would go through in the hours that lay ahead of him. He went to God and prayed that the things that were to befall him, which he knew by the Spirit of God, should pass him by. He was legit saying, Lord, Please find a way to take this burden away from me. You see, many of us would have ended our prayers right there. Lord, take this suffering away from me, period. But Jesus added something to his prayers. Nevertheless, he said, irrespective of what I want, not my will, but yours be done. The secret to answered prayer is praying the will of God. And the secret to truly praying the will of God is genuine consecration, trust, and alignment to God and to his will. Jesus often made statements like, the things that I see the Father do are the things that I do. Do you remember such statements? What do you think Jesus was saying? He was saying that his endeavors on earth followed a blueprint which he downloaded from heaven in the place of prayer. Jesus always exalted the will of the Father over his own will. Question, do you? If you will experience consistent answers to prayers, Find out God's will on a matter and pray it. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you for your word this morning. Thank you for our forthcoming 10th anniversary celebration. Please take control of our virtual day of thanksgiving and rejoicing and continue to take all the glory of mighty God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Speak to you again soon. If you are blessed, please drop me a line on audiodevotional at yahoo.com or on our website at www.3minutesaudiodevotional.com. You could also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter at 3 Minutes Audio Devotional. Remember, wrapped up in God's word is all you need for your change to come. Love you and bye.